Here's how much I spent in the past nine months. Have you ever thought about what your dream life would look like if money was not an issue? What would you spend it on? What do you need? What experience do you want to make? What is it that you always dreamed of buying? What does it feel like to be rich? This is what I was wondering about all my life. And now that I've experienced it, it's liberating. So how much money do you actually need to create your dream life? It's actually much less than you think. Track your spending, be conscious of it, and you'll be surprised. Just do the math. Break down all the prices that you want to have, put it on a spreadsheet, and work your way backwards. And that way it gives you so much clarity, and in the end you know how much you have to earn per day to live your dream life. People always think you have to be a millionaire or billionaire to live your dream life, but that's actually not true. I think too many people spend too much time trying to save money on coupons, sales events, on deals, instead of trying to earn more money. Because there's a limit on how much you can actually save, like a bottom limit. Let's say you live so frugal with no fun in life and just what you think about is saving more and more money, but there's no limit on how much money you actually can earn. People put the limit on themselves, thinking, oh, I can only earn this much, and then they're happy with it. And these days, earning money is easier than ever. You can do it online, you can do a side hustle. So instead of spending an hour to find the cheapest price on 10 different websites to maybe save 10 bucks, you could have worked on something and earned 10 bucks much easier. How much is your time worth? Let's say you value your time at 100 bucks an hour and you spend one hour trying to find a deal that saves you 10 bucks it sounds like a bad deal to me i personally think you should value your time much higher because time is something you can't get back money you can earn but time it's gone so that's why i tried an experiment this year i wanted to find out how much money i would actually spend on living my dream life what does my dream life look like and what would i spend it on anything related to twice concert, albums, merch. Food is also very important for me. I love good food. Concerts and festivals in Korea, spending time with my friends, be it eating out, hanging out at a cafe, just time with friends, so valuable. Experience, like traveling, visiting different places in Korea, or spending money on activities I would normally not do. Self-development courses, how can I make myself better every single day? How can I become better at something? And so I look for teachers and mentors online to do that. And if I needed something and wanted something, I just buy it without looking at the price tag. I use an app called Toshel to track all my spending. I've been using it for every trip for the past eight years. You can set the foreign currency and it will automatically update to the latest exchange rate and save it as your local currency. For example, I put in Korean won, I track my spending in Korean won and it will automatically exchange it back to Euro where I come from. Here's how much I spent in the past 9 months. Living life to the fullest, spending as much as I want, the result is 19 million won. Yeah, in Korea I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Which is around 14,000 euros. So per month it would be 2,100,000 won and around 1,500 euro and break it down to the day, it's 70,000 won a day, uh, so around 50 euro a day I spent in Korea without cutting anything. So let me break down the spending. Okay, now we're here on this Toshel page and I can see on the right side what I spend it for and you can see every day I spend it on food and coffee, I have food and coffee, that's how I spend my time, I just eat and uh, drink coffee all day. And here you can see how much I spend every day and how much I spend on average. And like I just mentioned, I spend around 50 euro a day, which is around like 70,000 won. And this is for August, the whole year, my financial year from January to end of December, then around 
14,000 euro which will be maybe 14,100 or a little bit more next week um, but it gives me a really good insight on where I spent my money and it's mostly on home that means like Airbnb, guest house and where I stay the other thing where I spend my money on the most 34% is I spend it on food and what are the other big categories it will be K-pop I spent a lot of money on a concert and festivals this year it was like around 20 and then I also spend it on um, fan cafe events or album and merch as transportation in Korea it's really cheap it's really cheap to get around Seoul and even further in Korea um, that's that's what's really good kickboxing and jujitsu so that's how much I spent it's like five percent yeah and as you can see that's the whole graph I then can break it down again as you can see the majority of my spending is on housing and food it's like 50 50 both I spent 750,000 won on K-pop festivals music merch I spent around 210,000 won MMA gym membership I spent around 100,005 won of my transportation fee is around 105,000 won it includes public transportation flights taxis and trains like everywhere I go it's all included in my transportation for traveling and everything and then we have the random section it's like maybe clothes gear I need maybe toothpaste something like that in total it makes around two million one hundred thousand one without cutting anything in my life and I live my life to fullest you can see in all my videos I'm happy where I am and that's how much I spent on my dream life Korea is comparable to Western Europe. It's not as cheap as Southeast Asian countries, but you get the safety and the comfort the other countries might not necessarily have. So if you want to live your dream life in Korea, you should consider doing a working holiday. Check out my website, workingholidaykorea.com. I simplified the application process and give you tips and insights on how you can live your best life in Korea. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And see you tomorrow. Bye -bye.